Hi, this is David Williams from my expert advisor. I put together this video so I could show you what we've been working on for the past year. One of the new features of Visual Trader Studio for MetaTrader, or VTS, is that it allows you to import MQL code to create a VTS system. The MQL code is parsed by the VTS parsing engine. Each line of code is interpreted and a VTS drawing element is created to represent the code. MQL variables become VTS variable elements. MQL if-then clauses become VTS logic elements. MQL platform functions, like technical indicators, become VTS function elements. MQL return statements become VTS end elements. And finally, MQL user functions become VTS drawings. Let me show you a quick example. Here is the MQL code for a very simple EA named Sample. It has two extern variables named Take Profit and Stop Loss. In MQL, extern variables are available on the input tab, so you can set them when you attach the EA to a price chart. This EA gets the value of a simple moving average using the MQL function IMA. If the moving average is greater than the bid price, the EA opens a buy trade using the MQL function order send. If the moving average is not greater than the bid price, the EA uses the MQL function comment to write no trade on the price chart. Okay, so let's import this MQL into VTS using the MQL import feature. From the VTS welcome screen, we select the Create New System button and then click the MQL EA import icon. This will show a typical file open window that allows us to navigate to the location of the MQL file that we want to import. I'll select the file sample.mq4 and click open. This will show a window that allows us to choose the name of the VTS system. When I select OK, VTS will import the MQL file and build a VTS system. On the main drawing, we can see the elements that have been created during the import process. The elements are connected in the exact order that they appear in the MQL code. VTS arranges the elements in the order that they were processed. Sometimes I rearrange the elements so it's easier to see the logical flow of the drawing. If you click on a link, all the elements connected to the link are highlighted. This makes it easier to move around groups of elements. This is a complete VTS system. It could now be modified in VTS. Let's see what we have. Here is the moving average function that was defined in the MQL code. If you click the plus button, you can see the parameters as they were set. The logic element contains the if-then clause from the MQL code. If you click the plus button, you can see the logical condition. It reads, if the MA value is greater than bid, then return true. Following the true path of the logic element, we see that the SL and TP variables are set and the order send function is called. If you click the plus button of the TP variable, you could see that the variable is defined as a double value with system scope. The assignment tab shows what is assigned to the variable. In this case, it is the expression we had for calculating the take profit. If you click the plus button of the order send element, you could see all of the parameters of the MQL order send function. Following the false path of the logic element, we see an MQL code element. VTS will create an MQL MQL code element when it finds MQL code that it can't parse. In this case, the comment function was placed into a code element because the MQL comment function can have any number of input parameters. 
So if we press the build button, VTS will produce MQL code that is functionally equivalent to the MQL file that we imported. We can view the generated MQL file by clicking the MQL Meta Editor button. This will open the Meta Editor. This is the generated code. It looks different because it was generated from the drawing of the VTS system, but it has the same functionality. Here we see the moving average function. Here is the if statement. Here is the order send function. And here is the comment function. So the original MQL code has been imported into a VTS drawing that builds a functionally equivalent expert advisor. Now you can modify the drawing or the elements like you normally do in VTS. Thanks for watching my video. I've created a new section on the VTS forum just for this MQL import feature. I'm sure there will be lots of questions and activity about this feature. Stop by our website and pick up a free copy of our VTS Express Edition. The Express Edition does not have the import feature, but it's a great way for you to find out if VTS is for you.